Hello, everybody. My name is Dirk Gruber. I'm one of the astrophysicists here at the Space Science Center at Moore State University. And I would like to talk with you guys a little bit today about our, our astrophysics program. We are really the only major astrophysics program in the state of Kentucky. Well, University of Kentucky has a program. It's primarily driven by physics. The same with UFL. Uh, but we have a program that really focuses on astrophysics. It's an area in physics, so you will get a physics degree with, the, um, with already an area in astrophysics. So we have a bunch of classes that you find nowhere else in the state of Kentucky, like high energy astrophysics, like radio astronomy. And a matter of fact, I'm sitting right now in the control room for our 21 meter radio antenna. Now this radio antenna has been used for astrophysics, not so much anymore because there's too much background noise here on campus, but we are using it for satellite tracking because the other things we are doing here at the Space Science Center, that's why it's called the Space Science Center, is we build satellites and the satellites we are building are these mini satellites. Now, for me doing research, I use satellites and that's what you guys will be doing when you get into our program because we are using particular X-rays. We are observing sources and X-rays like active galactic nuclei. That's my background. So I'm studying supermassive black holes these supernatural effect goes in the centers of galaxies, they accrete matter. And this accretion just becomes very, very hot, something like several tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of Kelvin. And that means that it emits in X-rays. And I am using in particular NASA's mission called SWIFT. I have also used XMM and Chandra and all these big missions as well. But my students learn how to work with X-ray data and also ultraviolet data. We get them from SWIFT simultaneously, so the students learn this. Now, right now, as you can probably guess, is everything is on lockdown, is on shutdown, and the students are off campus. Now, how we do we do research? Well, the good news is that astrophysics can be done pretty much on your computer. I receive my data from NASA. I download them to my machine. I do all my data analysis on the computer as well, and the students do the same. So although we don't meet in person right now, we still do research going on with students. So the students have the software running on their computer and they can still work on this. And once a week, we actually meet online and talk about the progress that we are getting with our data research. Typically what I do is I take students to meetings and that had been also the plan by the end of April this year, we were supposed to go to a meeting in Virginia. Well, it's not going to happen because of the coronavirus, right? So, here we are, so we do everything online. So no meeting for now, but hopefully in November, we will be back to normal so I can take the students back to the Kentucky uh, Academy of Science meeting, which will be at EKU this year. So we will go in there and the students will present something. Now don't be afraid of presenting something, it might sound scary to you, but you will get there because when you want to become an astrophysicist, you have to communicate, you have to give the talks about your results, and that's what we are training you. Uh, the big advantage here in Moet is that we have a relatively small group. Um, now, this might be sounding not so good because you want to be in big groups, right? But hey, when you talk with a professor, that's better if you have a small group because you can talk one-to-one one -one with your professor. And my group in research right now has about seven, eight students, and we work closely together. This also has the advantage that the older students can actually help you to achieve their knowledge in data analysis. So we train you, we have a very good ratio for this. Again, it's a physics degree, but we specialize on astrophysics. So by the four years you are here, you will be ready to go to grad school and work in your PhD there. We don't, provoke, we don't provide this. We only do a bachelor degree, but for the bachelor degree, it is crucial that what you learn at the university is coming hopefully from a smaller university where you can work one-on-one -on -one with a professor. And this is also better for your grades, for the retention, whatever. And we are here also to help you for answering your questions. So please have a look at us. Please come and see me sometime when we are open again, and I can talk with you guys more about our, our uh, astrophysics program. All right. Thank you very much for your time. And I hope to see you soon sometime, hopefully also in person. Thank you.